All right, so you were taking, were you assisting with Cam's class or were you just taking it for fun? Well, I was uh, assisting Cam because um, the room is like really big and then um, the other kids like on the other side was hard. It was like, it was hard for them to see so I had to stand over there so it would be easier for them to see. All right, and after Cam's done, you're going to be teaching, right? Yes, I am teaching next and I'm very excited. What, what are you teaching? Because I know he did popping. What are you going to be teaching? Oh, I'm teaching um, JC favorite style. Tick, 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 oh. tick, 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 tick. Watch JC like bust out and take the class just so he can be like y'all. I saw his car <laughs> parked outside. Parked outside. It's like two security guards. <laughs> oh, do do any of the like judges are because I know like little mom I've seen her at like events for like the beat freaks and stuff. Do any of the judges have they like talked to you since or it's done and? Um, we haven't been out since the show ended, like to where to see them yet. So yeah, we haven't seen them. But I'm sure little mama in the morning would talk to it because they always talk to us like. Um, during rehearsal and so Amarna would like come on stage and like start doing windmills and even though like, we can't do it, you know, but he tries. <laughs> it's pretty funny and then you know, his shirt got dirty and he's like <laughs> <laughs> He does that laugh. He does that, he does that laugh. <laughs> tell him what's up, JC <laughs> All right, and then um so tell let's talk do you wanna talk about like other stuff that you do? Because I think everybody kind of knows that you dance and stuff, but your hairstyling and stuff and other things that you do outside of dance? Um, trying to go back to school next week, but unfortunately only going to go back for a month and then I'm going to be busier than I thought I would be. So going back to school uh, right now, it's just like a lot of dancing, a lot, a lot of dancing because, you know, we just got off the show and um, a lot of people want to see us live. People who, who haven't seen us, like people outside of California. So we're really excited to uh, meet all of them and be able to perform for all you guys who have been voting for us in person and meet you guys and just want to party with you guys if you're 18 and over. <laughs> and you, you saw, uh, you went to Dallas, obviously. So what was it like meeting fans? Because I think people kind of know you in California, but you guys got to go out to a whole nother place that usually doesn't have people visit. So what was it like, you know? visiting people in Dallas and your southern fans? Um, it was it was really different. Like we got there and then we were like like dang, like these are all the people that have been voting for us. So it was really nice to like get to meet them and say thank you and you know, um sell them shirts, say hi, that kind of stuff. And I wish that everybody could have attended um, the after party but it was only eighteen and over so Aww. So yeah, we got to meet a lot of the the older people who have been supporting us. But we we wish we could have spent more time with the with the underage kids because uh, I know there's a lot of like underage people that really like to watch it perform because you know we we love you guys <laughs> and what what are some of the nicer things that people have said to you like what are some of the things that people have said to you and you're really like dang I didn't even know I had that kind of impact or um, I saw a lot of comments and this came from my mom too is that like when we perform we put a smile on uh, people's face and I think that's you know that that's that's really important you know like you want to watch somebody and then and smile, you know, not be like, oh, all the time, you know, like, like you want to be able to enjoy it without being like, oh, my God, he did like a crazy flip, you know, yeah. like, so, so periodics kind of like show to a lot of people that like, you don't need to do like the most amazing thing in order to entertain, you know, as long as you entertain, you put a smile on people's face and that and they're going to remember, remember you for that. And what was, out of the, all of the, the episodes and stuff, what was, like, your Dumbo's personal favorite, like, moment on stage? Wait, like, like my solo? No, not solo, but, like, what for you personally, because everybody in the crew is going to have different, like, favorite moments, but what was, like, you, like, watching back and looking back at the performances, like, what was your personal favorite? Like an episode? Yeah. What, 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 <laughs> let me simplify it real quick. No, I'm just kidding. But of all the performances that you did, which one was your favorite? Hmm. Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I kind of liked Umbrella because, like, if you were there, it, it was like, like, like the audience like loved it. But I think Jesse, you know, said bad stuff about it, and then people kind of listened to him. But Umbrella was a good one. I had fun, you know, being able to like take off a shirt and we like got silver arms, yeah, and then yeah. then those those little short shirts was fun. But awesome. Magic was fun too. Yeah. I like Magic a lot. Was Magic was like was like my favorite song it was yeah the right hand high yeah right hand high was was, was my favorite but like we had a lot of stuff choreographed to it and then when we found out that we had to use the cube so we took out like almost like half of our routine and dedicated to the cube and then people and then people said we, we should have danced more like we wanted to dance more but we had to do yeah. we, we had to be magical you know it's like two different worlds uh, put together it's like 
his magic and here is dancing. You can't, you can never put like those two together because, like those two things are like um, each meant to shine. It's like you gotta shine with the dancing and the magic gotta shine. So it's kind of hard to shine both of them at the same time. But I think you guys did a good job because I think like. Yeah, I think you guys, I think all of the crew, I think the only crew I love them, but Jungle Boogie was the only one that got like swallowed by the prop. But I think you guys did a good job. And then lastly, before we go, tell them something about Dumbo that we don't know. Like you personally, like something that you've never told them or like, obviously not embarrassing, but just something that you want to get out there about yourself. Um, I might not be talkative when, when, when you first meet me. Maybe like, I'm like tired. When I'm tired, I'm just like, uh, hey, what's up? But... Like when I'm like full with energy, you know, if you come and talk to me, I'll be like, bah, bah. so I might come off as like mean, you know. A lot of people think so just because I'm always like, like the ones that doesn't talk as much. Or like you walk up to, to ask him some questions and he goes, what do you want? What is this for? Who are you? Why are you here? You weren't invited, so. <laughs> totally no. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Um, Dumbo is about to teach at Team Millennia here in La Habra. So are you excited about teaching? It's, it's going to be a packed class. I am very excited to teach. And boo, whoever sitting at home watching this, you guys are not <laughs> here. You guys are missing out. Unless you're on the East Coast and couldn't fly out or in another country. But all right, well, thank Let's you. Go so to New York, the end of May. May War of Dance, night. War of Dance, East Coast, New York. Check it yeah. out and then party with us. It's ain't over. Yeah. 18 and over. <laughs> 10 and 1 is okay too. Like All right, thank you so much. What's up? It's my boy, 21XL. <laughs> <laughs>